guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samson, and today I'm doing a video of my kind of like my uni experience and things you need to know when you're coming to DMU. So obviously everyone's experience is different. So this is just mine, and this is some advice that I'm gonna that I just want to spread. You know, um, I asked for some questions or some things that you want me to put in here. So yeah, I'm gonna do all of that in a mishmash quickly. Sorry if you can hear a lot of ruckus in the background. My mother is on an international call. If you know, you know. Cool, so I'm gonna start off with raves. Now me personally, prior to coming to uni, I wasn't a rave girl until summer, last summer, 2019, and boy, was I raving. And so I guess it made it easier for me coming into uni because I've done that dancing step before, I've drank that juice before, it's nothing crazy. I think the only thing with uni raves in comparison to raves on ends or like when you're at home is that, you know, there's no, you're going home so you need to have pattern and be making your way to your yard. There's no curfew, there's none of that. So it's kind of like, you know, if I want to show my pints in this motive and be showing my pints all the way back to my accommodation, I can very much do that. Why? Because I'm staying at an accommodation. I'm not going back to my mother or my father's house. Do you get it? So, yeah, I think that's... Uni raves kind of show you people that the home training is a question mark or, like, freedom is a question mark when, they're, when they were at home kind of thing. But for me personally, like I said, I've danced that dance before. I've drank that that ray before I know what I'm doing, okay? Like, at the end of the day, like, ah, come on. <laughs> Adding on to the raves thing, I would say any motive that's Uncle T.O.P.R. Fahrenheit, make sure you're there. There's other small um, events companies that are out there that bang. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I was a short girl for those two, as well as um, Playhouse PR. I was short girling for them too, and I'm not going to lie, those moves were always popping off. If you care about DJ lineups like I do, um, Uncle Tio never fails, never fails to have the creme de la creme on the deck, okay? So make sure um, you attend those motives, etc. And uh, yeah. Another thing I want to talk about is like transportation ubers da, 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 da. in i think this is in the midlands in general but like i said this is mainly leicester based dme based in leicester you can actually get from a to b b can be very far away like if we're talking london terms it could be quay but you're only paying three pounds cab five pound uber whatever and whatnot like it's very light because it's very light is if it's light in that aspect it's got to be heavy in another one and it will really suck the coin out of your account. So please, God, if you can walk it. The thing is, all these places are like 20, 25 minute walk. On a normal day, like if it's to, to go somewhere that's not urgent, I'll do it. But if it's to go to a motive, the setting spray hasn't even dried on my face. The doors are closing in 20 minutes. I'm getting that Uber. Do you get it? But it all starts to add up. And that McDonald's that you're going to have after the motive... That one too has come to collect. Do you get it? It's come to collect the coin um, out of your account. Um, I wouldn't say you need a car because the question was whether I took my car. I wouldn't say you need to drive in Leicester because I, for me, I didn't leave my accommodation every day. So like a lot of the things, and because I live by myself in a studio, it was like, I know how much I eat. So if I go and do a weekly shop, sometimes it will last me even two weeks and I don't need to move a car. When I go to motives, I'm not driving because parking again is a question mark. So it's kind of like, I had no reason to take my car. I drive, okay, I drive in this time, my car is bare cute, whatever, but those BMWs will swallow my car. Do you get it? There's actually, we don't need to flex like that, okay? That, to everyone, I just have a license, that's it. You don't need to know I have a car. And that is in London, in Southeast. So, um, yeah, I would say, Car's not necessary. Sorry, I keep looking there. I keep looking at my mirror. But yeah, um, car's not necessary because everything is in walking distance. And if you really do want to get a cab or you can't both to walk, cabs, Ubers, whatever, are fairly cheap. Another thing I would say is don't be fast. Okay? I think this is what we're going to call this segment. Don't be fast. Okay? Don't be fast <laughs> to off your pints. You know, second inch. Don't be fast. <laughs> don't actually be fast okay obviously 
you know love happens red hair tear but in the first semester even the first year of uni don't be fast there's no love in that uni i promise you don't be fast they will come and romance you they will whisper sakanaj in your ear and you are off the pints there's actually no love i like to live life with no regrets um etc but there's certain things god <laughs> oh god my cruelty like there's actually just no love there's no love so don't be quick to to get into a relationship in uni because let me tell you something like i said this video is about my experience and whatnot in the first semester in actually it was actually the month of october in the first semester single taken married divorced adopted children surrogate um gave birth you know, met the family. Uni is fast, so you yourself don't be fast. If you're fast, you'll just be getting yourself in shizzes that you don't want to be getting sh into that kind of shiz. you get, okay? So it's a thing whereby it's like, take your time. When you go into uni, take your time. And it's all these um, yeah, yeah, um, boys that will be fast to, yeah, yeah, you're paying. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -mm. I don't want. And yeah. In DMU, much like other places, to be fair, you will meet rodded people. You will meet people with their head is not screwed on. You'll meet people that their mum used to tell them, come home at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, at 7 p.m., I'm pre pre drinking. Do you get? I haven't even owned my eyebrow. So it's like you'll meet these rodded people, you know, but you just have to be trying, okay? But I feel like DMU, in comparison to previous years, it's not as rodded. Um, as it was i would say my year was fairly chill it's just the people that i ended up meeting and getting involved with that were rodded and made the beginning part of my uni experience somehow somehow okay yeah i would say dmu is really good for the arts um i don't know how it is for um other subjects because i haven't really spoken to my friends about it too tough in it like we just do what we need to do and you know link up at a, at a club but yeah um for the arts it's amazing the building's really new and stuff accommodation wise um i stayed at code for first year i have my moving in vlogs which are already up on my channel so um code is very nice they've been doing quasi sm during this pandemic but that's between them and their creator for the year coming i'm probably gonna stay in an apartment or whatnot. i haven't actually picked anywhere a lot of places are saying they want rent now to do what i'm in my house right now i'm not moving in so i'll keep you guys updated and i'll do another moving in vlog when i move into my new place in hopefully september maybe august i don't know so yeah that's basically that like just don't be fast don't be fast because you need fast pace by the time you blink you're in the new year once you're in the new year like the remaining months is it goes very very quickly I would say making friends wise if you know you're a person that can share i would say stay in a shared accommodation like so you share your kitchen please on suites please on the suites okay because hygiene is still cool i can be pals with you but um i don't need to be seeing your hair in the drain she'll get like that's dead so um on it at the bare minimum if you can share kitchens if you're blessed with calm people that's calm as well it knocks money off your rent as well what they say about uni about being forced to try new things you don't get forced but it's it's very accessible just whether you know that's not you that is you deep down if you are on ends would you be doing that same stuff will you actually be smoking that tin like know yourself i know where you're coming from Oof, i don't know what else to say yeah try and take up something new try and make friends keep calm it will it will get to a point where it's overwhelming because you are being thrown into a different um environment etc but stay calm um you need to always have a good support system dm you have a very good support system um you can shout them you can call them you can email them and they will help you so yeah that's basically it i hope this has answered some of the questions that were sent in and i hope this kind of helps anyone that's thinking of going to dmu uh, there's people that have probably done this in depth so please go and there's people that have done this for other unis too but yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video